In this tutorial, I'll break down how I prepare for the first temperature drop at the normal difficulty setting. So without further ado, let's get started. What is up farmhands, Fat Beats here, welcome back to the Beat Farm and to my day 3 tutorial for the first scenario of Frostpunk, a new home. It's day 3 of our endeavor. Things are steadily getting better and we are now ready to save people, make some meals and accelerate our research rate. Now all we have to do is assign the people before the day starts. I'm pulling my engineers and workers from the resource nodes for now, but we'll assign the workers once all the raw food is processed. Now that everyone is ready, let's get them going. Looks like we've got more sick people than the one medical post can handle, so let's build the second one. Don't worry, there will be engineers to work here soon. As you can see, the cookhouse is running, and I've added a road for our second ring of housing that we'll be adding later. And our generator goes quiet for the last time in this tutorial. We'll be turning it back on for good tonight. Alrighty, all raw food has been processed, so we can move the workers to the steel pile to keep some steel coming in. We can now get more food from our hunts. Let's address the heating so that we can go beyond the first ring. We will need that shortly. Looks like our scouts have reached the cave. You can save the game here before checking it out in case things go badly. As you can see, we are going to risk attacking the bears. Fortunately, we were successful in the attempt. The alternative was a hefty scouting snack for the bears. It's up to you how you want to play the scenario. You can save scrub or live with the consequences. Either way, the people will start making their way to the city. You'd have to create another scout team though. For the next law, I choose overcrowding to get a permanent boost in healthcare space. Usage results in additional discontent though. We need to prepare for the new arrivals, so we'll build some tents for them later. To prioritize those first, let's pause the medical post. We've got over 30 people coming, so we need 4 more tents. However, we also want to maximize gathering time, so I'll pause all construction until the workday ends. Otherwise, any workers reassigned will go to build first. The Steam Hub research is done. Let's go ahead and get the heaters now. Our wood is getting low, but we will need the heat in workplaces first. It looks like all resource piles are low enough that it will only take a few hours to finish them off tomorrow. So we're not going to build any gathering posts. Now that the workday is over, we can unpause all building assignments and turn on the generator. Right on time, the people are here. Now that we have more people, let's go check out the crash site and get some resources to supplement our supplies while we catch up on resource generator research. Yeah. 
At this point, it's time to prepare for the temperature drop. I'm placing my first steam hub where it has maximum coverage for the housing district I'll be building first. We can adjust the placement as we research generator power and range upgrades later. We should expand our research capabilities with the new engineers available. So I placed two more workshops behind the cookhouse. For reference, here's how adding workshops affects your research rate. The first one built gives a full 100%. The second one adds 30%. The third adds 20%. And each one after that adds 10%. With these four up, we can expect 160% research rate, and that's just with normal working hours. So that being said, remember to place the workshops on extended shift. Also, don't forget to assign engineers to your new medical post. And there we have it, the end of day 3. Now that we have everything set up for the next workday to start at 6am, we are going to pause here. Okay, we fought bears, saved people, and have properly fed and housed all of them. Things are looking pretty good. Don't forget to give a like to this video if you are enjoying this tutorial series. See you next time, this is Fat Beats, signing out.